Hi, my name is Daniel and today I'm here to talk to you about my latest Arduino project, which is a, a device that plays a popular iOS uh, game called White Tiles. Uh, let's look at the device in action first and then we'll break it down and look at how it works. The first component of this is um, detecting whether the tile is white or black. And doing this was very simple. All it was was uh, four light sensors measuring the intensity of light coming from the iPad. And uh, then the Arduino would test each of those values against the threshold to decide if the tile was uh, white or black. Um, these light sensors were um, very cheap micro light sensors and so they were relatively inaccurate, but because I'm only trying to detect between a white and a black tile, which are very different, um, this accuracy wasn't really a problem. So the second component of this is actually stimulating the touch on the iPad. And to know how I did that, we should first look at how the iPad screen actually works. Um, capacitive touch screens, basically, they, have, they hold a charge on the screen. And when you touch, when a finger touches a screen, it acts as a capacitor drawing some current out of that screen. And basically the way to emulate that with the Arduino without me having to touch anything or without any moving parts is to connect the ground pin of the Arduino to a specific point on the screen. Uh, because connecting that ground pin would effectively draw some current off, out of the screen just like a human finger would. The way to accomplish that with the Arduino, like I said, is by having a transistor and a relay uh, connected to a piece of copper tape uh, on the screen. Uh, of course, we have four of, of this, but I, I just drew one to illustrate what actually happens. Um, so the Arduino first gets the values from the light sensor and tests it against the threshold to see if the tile is uh, black or white. If the tile is black and we have to stimulate a touch, the Arduino then turns the transistor on, which turns the relay on, uh, effectively connecting the Arduino ground pin to the piece of copper tape on the screen drawing some current out like I mentioned before. The reason we need both a transistor and a relay is because the transistor is always partially grounded. Meaning, if I just had a transistor, which I did at first, um, even when the transistor was off, it would still stimulate a touch on the screen. And uh, like I said, that's because the transistor is always partially connected to the ground. Whereas the relay is um, is a switch controlled by an electromagnetic coil which sends a signal and turns the, the switch on or off. So when the relay is uh, switched off, it really is off and not connected to ground or anything else. Meaning, uh, like I said, when it's switched on, we can simulate the touch and when it's off, it's not connected to anything or, or partially grounded anywhere. If we take a closer look, we can see here how each relay is connected to uh, the piece of copper tape um, that's taped to the screen 
and um, the light sensors right next to it is um, partially taped to the screen as well so it stays in place and the black tape is actually used to reduce the noise in the light sensor because it um, isolates the surroundings basically so all the light or most of the light that's that it's sensing it's coming is coming from the iPad if we take a look at the code it's actually very simple I first initialize four um, integers for each of the light sensor values then four thresholds for each of those sensors and as you can see the thresholds are different but I just I just had to figure that out experimentally it wasn't it wasn't too tough then in our uh, void setup I just have um, four pin mode outputs for each of the transistor pins and in our void loop all I'm gonna do is update the sensor values and then test each of that each of those values with its respective um, threshold after testing that as you can see um, if the tile is black then the Arduino turns the transistor on with a simple digital write um, high and if the tile is uh, white then turn the transistor off as you can see it repeats that four, three, three more times four in total and then we have a small delay at the end so the reason I wanted to build this project in the first place was as a proof of concept for something bigger because while you know it's a it's a cool device um, for to just kind of look at and, and see it get a high score what I really wanted it to prove was that there is a security problem with hardware hacking because where, whereas the developers of this game could have very easily put a barrier in place for software hacking you know writing a script that wouldn't allow people to get a high score somehow by cheating and, and modifying the code there is really nothing they could do that would prevent me from doing what I did and getting the high score with uh, this piece of hardware. 